こんにちは、みなさん。マックスです。スジです。私たちのシャノイユコスト。Welcome to our channel. Oh my god, I'm so excited today because Diana and Phil, American German couple, went to Osaka, Japan to review food. And we love them on our German channel. We reacted to them a few times. They are amazing at reviewing food. So we wanted to do it this one on this Japanese channel. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. amazing. Yes. Sa Ikimashou. First time takoyaki in Japan. Dude, this thing. This is awesome. Oh. Yeah, I prefer this style.、Mm -hmm. It looks so good. Look at this. Osaka, the city in Japan known for many things such as epic lights, fun nightlife.、Um, the city in Japan known for many things. Wow. Wow. This is so pretty. Look at this street. What is that statue? I don't know. Wow. Maybe? Like a shrine. Wow. But the color is so beautiful. Like blue, but it's like light blue and、yes. then red. These oh. Are,、mm, it's so pretty. Many things such as epic lights, fun、Whoa. nightlife, and beautiful buildings. But in this video, we are here for the food,、oh. and we want to try some of the iconic street、oh、food、God. in Osaka, Japan. First stop brings us to a sweet treat called taiyaki, which are filled Japanese fish shaped cakes.、Oh、we went to a place、mm. called Naruto Taiyaki Honpo that has many locations throughout the city, all selling taiyaki at these windows. All right, we decided to get a specialty here, and it's these awesome fish shaped desserts,、oh. these little sweet treats. So these are called taiyaki, and they're filled with different things. I think it's traditionally red bean paste, but there's also custard and sweet potato. I decided to go with the traditional. I might have to go for a second and get sweet potato. I normally would get sweet potato, but you know, we're gonna try the traditional first. These are made from layers of pancake batter, then filling, and then another pancake layer. We have this. Yeah, in Thailand? Yes, we also have in the town, but you know, I tried it, but it's, it's not that good. So I think original is always gonna be good. Is it Japanese traditionally? Yeah, t h e r e s a Japanese. So in Thailand, they don't do it well, well, here.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. They are cooked in a closed mold to get the fish shape until a nice golden brown like this. We ordered both red bean and custard, and we're starting with the most common red bean flavor. So let's give it a go. Oh no, not the head. <laughs> She、mm. ate that. So growing up, I had a lot of red bean paste, and I didn't like it as much, but as an adult now, I'm growing to love it. I really do like it, and I really do enjoy it. And I think it's a nice sweet dessert, but not too sweet, not overly sweet. So this was right off the street here at this like Den Den market area. It's like where... the Akihabara of Osaka. Exactly. <laughs> There's so many like anime and manga shops, and then a lot of gaming shops and all that tech stuff. And I'm having. The custard version of the taiyaki. And my friend, your head's gonna be gone too. Yes, Phil got the premium. This was 300 yen for the premium custard version versus this was 280. Oh, hot.、Mm. Dude, there's a lot of custard in here. And I see these、uh, fish desserts everywhere here in Japan. Yeah. They seem to be very popular. We even have them in Little Tokyo and Dusseldorf. I wanna try that one. Mmm. Ooh. Custard's really good. Oh, that's nice. It's not good too, but custard. And now that we've had our sweet <laughs> filling, it's time to move towards the savory is... side. Custard. And now. What is that big towel? I saw it at the beginning of the video. I don't know what that is. Now that we've had our sweet filling, it's time to move towards the savory side. This next street food is an iconic、oh. Japanese dish,、oh, yeah. takoyaki. <laughs> <laughs> This dish was popularized in the 1930s here from a street vendor in Osaka. Today, you、oh. will find popularized in the 19th. 19... This we have it a lot in Thailand.、Mm, They、yeah. cook like 200 at the same time. And what is it? Imitation crab? What else flavor do they have? Octopus. Yeah, octopus.、Uh, squid. Squid. Seaweed. Seaweed. And、uh, they, they put that sauce all the way, that white sauce、yeah. on it, right?、Oh, yeah.、Uh, many things actually depend on what you created, but. Um, what is it? They said the word was tag tagoyaki, is, it just came from the octopus thing. Oh, okay. So the original is the octopus, right? They put octopus in 30s here from a street vendor in Osaka. Today, you Maybe that's why there's an octopus here.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> the... You will find hundreds of octopus signs, statues, and even plushies advertising、oh. these balls filled with octopus. The batter is a wheat flour base、mm. and cooked in these round molds to get the shape. They are、oh、often topped with takoyaki sauce and mayonnaise. 
along with tempura, <gasps> pickled ginger, dried bonito, and green onions. We came oh. to the spot. Is pickle? They will have this. It's unusual, right? I don't think I've seen it with the, the pickle like this. No, they never put it on the Thai dish. You put seaweed usually, right? Yeah, they put seaweed and yeah. dry, dry fish, dry squid, thing like that. Mm. Oh, see, the original over better again. <laughs> called America Mura, which is a little bit the hipster area here in Osaka is what we read and it's very colorful there's this little park here they have some secondhand shops and stuff here too yeah and one thing we really needed to try in Osaka is takoyaki because takoyaki originated here and it's these bright octopus balls it's because oh takoyaki sauce soy sauce citrus flavored soy sauce green onion takoyaki sauce oh okay so it's I, is it all with octopus mm. I, it looked like it but yeah, you just right. changed the, fla the flavor takoyaki the originated mm. here and it's these bright octopus balls it's dough balls filled with octopus you can actually see he has a little bit of a chunk coming out we did choose it with green onion and takoyaki sauce on top you get a set of 10 in this little nice box here for 650 oh. yen. One thing about takoyaki, it is the thing that holds the heat the most. So the it's not that expensive actually. Four bucks twenty nine for ten piece. It's actually it's actually quite reasonable. This might be a very hot experience here. We'll see. First time takoyaki in Japan. Mm, very nice, dude. It's not that hot actually. It's actually ready to eat. Very nice. The octopus inside feels really legit. Like you saw the little leg that I just ate. It has a very strong taste, better than the ones I've had so far. And the sauce itself is also a little bit more special. It's not just this typical teriyaki sauce they put on, but it tastes slightly different. Or maybe it's just the amount of green onions that are on top here. It's a very nice street food snack that they sell here everywhere in Osaka and in Japan. And uh, you can never go wrong with it. They are just great. <laughs> All right, so I feel like this is the Japanese street food that is just known throughout the world. This is takoyaki. It's these octopus balls, and they look really good. So feed me one. Mm. 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 A generous <laughs> portion of spring onions. <laughs> and the shape is different. There's like a tail at the end, right? Yeah. For modern birds, it's, it's uh, in Thailand, it's like a round shape and there's no tail coming out of, uh, at the end or something. This one, you can see what is it inside. It's good. Also, there's like multiple colors. There's like a white color on top and there's like a uh, brown. I think they put a lot of octopus inside. Mm. Maybe I'm and wrong. And also a generous portion of the octopus. I feel like oftentimes you get like these little frozen yeah. small cubes. They can be a little small, but this was a nice chunk and that was a nice piece. And it's pretty good. Yeah, and takoyaki is usually um, a very hearty, very doughy, cheesy, heavy meal. But the spring onions are a nice contrast. Yeah, right? it makes it a little lighter. Oh, me. Thank you. I taste a little ginger in there, which is quite nice, and I absolutely love the generous, generous portion of spring onions. That is good. Last piece. Whoa. Just 45 seconds later, gone. This dish is often a snack or meal, and this set of 10 was very filling. And after that, we needed to walk it off and headed to a nearby shoten guy, which is a commercial shopping street style in Japan. Wow. They are often covered to protect pedestrians from the elements and are full of shops, restaurants, wow. and convenience stores, which are always nice to buy a refreshing <laughs> drink. Or you get your water from a vending machine or your drink from a vending machine which is surprisingly not that overpriced. No, this one is 120, so it's still less than, that's about a, a dollar. There we go. And Whoa. we didn't make it very far before we found the next street food item it, we oh wanted to God. try. This is another one where you have to pay at the machine. You put your money in and we're gonna get one of these buns. That's it. <laughs> Let's get it. These machines are very convenient. We just order our food item at the machine and then hand the ticket to the person so they know exactly how many to prepare. These 10 yen cheese pancakes are a newer trend in Japan and throughout Asia. It's a pancake batter filled with cheese in a 10 yen mold. Are you seeing Ooh. a street food pattern yet? These blocks of cheese are oh. covered with pancake Whoa. batter and then baked until golden brown and served hot and ready for a cheese bowl. Yeah. Yeah. 
hot balls. Oh, All right, wow. So we decided to get one of these. Ten it's so pretty. It looks like a big biscuit, but it's filled with. Yeah. I, I think I have not seen, though. Me too. Mm -hmm. And a whole cheese inside. It's so pretty. <laughs> Onion buns, and they're filled with cheese. So it has a similar dough to the fish that we tried, but this one is filled with cheese. And I've seen this everywhere. I saw this in Korea too, but I just want to check out this cheese pole. Yeah, it has a good amount of <gasps> cheese in there. Wow. Ah! Oh my god, that's so gooey. That's gonna burn my face off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that's very cheesy. She put a big chunk of mozzarella in there after lining the dough, and then I cooked for about four minutes total. And dude, this thing, this is awesome. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> It's got sweet for the dough, and then it's a little savory. But wait, how expensive is cheese? Because that looks like a lot of cheese. This is yeah. this should be. Is it like fake mozzarella? So it's super cheap or what? Yeah. Because cheese is is, is expensive. A so. lot of yeah. cheese. <laughs> And cheese. I just want it's still cheese. Swedish. That's awesome. This is fair food to me. Street food, fair food. I love it. <laughs> we literally saw advertisements for this on TV where they do these huge cheese pulls, and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, it's super fresh. She makes every one of them fresh right there. So that's kind of nice. There's your protein you were looking for. Some cheese protein. <laughs> Dude, that's actually a very sweet bun. Yeah. Like surprisingly sweet overall. Oh my God, the cheese melted. The cheese is melting onto the cardboard. Oh no. Oh, that's hot. I think this thing is absolutely unnecessary, but also pretty good. Like to be honest, since we started eating here, We've eaten pretty unhealthy, and uh, I don't know how Japan is amongst the healthiest, and skinniest people in the world. Portion control. Yeah, <laughs> they're not control trying control. everything like we are. Every time we see something that looks good. <laughs> and while walking home wow. with that cheesy pancake, we explore other areas of Osaka. And the last place on the street food tour doesn't even open until 6 p.m. It is more mm. of an evening dinner and drinking type of restaurant that specializes in <laughs> you guessed it, a Japanese wow. pancake dinner and drinking. Wow. I looking at that it it's funny like people carry they're working no suitcase yeah and look like they look like a mafia going somewhere oh no they are they, they're traveling oh okay <laughs> <laughs> and they have a big black suit you know yeah. <laughs> type of restaurant that specializes in you guessed it a japanese pancake but this oh. one's a little different is that okonomiyaki is it looks like okonomiyaki but it's so golden brown it's so pretty. All right, another thing we need to try here in Osaka is okonomiyaki. And you might think, what? hey, wait, okonomiyaki is from Hiroshima, and we already tried that there. However, Osaka area is also known for okonomiyaki, and there's just a little bit of a different style to that. So we're in this little back alley here, which looks amazing, by the way, and there's a little shop there, and we're gonna try Osaka-style okonomiyaki. Here we go. Okonomiyaki is a Japanese oh. teppanyaki savory pancake type of dish. The two main styles are Hiroshima style and Osaka style. And after trying several in Hiroshima, we wanted to try one in Osaka. We decided to visit Dontaku Doyama since it was a highly rated okonomiyaki restaurant in the Umeda area where we were staying. The staff did not speak English, but fortunately the menu was in English and Japanese. So after some smiling, Ooh. gesturing, and watching a few Japanese language videos, we were able to order a plum sake and two dishes. The first dish we ordered was a tonpeyaki, which is a savory pork omelet. Watching them cook this pork steak on the grill and wrap it in eggs had our mouths watering. After adding some mustard, mayo, and okonomi sauce, it was the ultimate keto meal ready to eat. All right, so we're here at an okonomiyaki place in Osaka, and we decided to get one thing, which is a pork steak wrapped in egg, tonpei, and it's served right here. It's sizzling, it's fresh. They have the tapanyaki grill right there, and it looks so good. Look at this. This might be the pro Protein richest dish we've had in Japan so we're, far. We're getting the gains. <laughs> oh, it must be so hot, right? Mm. Mm. It's a blanket. It's like a steak in a blanket. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I taste the mustard in there. I taste the okonomiyaki sauce on there, and the mayonnaise is on there too. It's so so good. Oh wow. Mm. You have these little shovels with uh, what you get your smaller portions from the grill. Oh. It's so nice. Oh, that mustard is so good. It's a nice Dijon mustard. Mustard with egg is just such a good combination. Mm -hmm. And then just wrap it around meat. Mm, that's so good. 
And now to try Osaka style okonomiyaki. Oh. We ordered one with all of the protein toppings, including pork, squid, shrimp, and scallops. I call that like an omelette pizza because it really looked like a pizza. Oh. But it's like a, I, I guess it's a dessert. Okay. Then you get a big steak. You want a big steak. You want a big uh, okonomiyaki. You wonder how am I going to eat this? So you have to give me a knife to cut up. But they always make it into small portions oh. so you can eat it with your chopsticks. It's the only thing they give you. And he just brought out the big okonomiyaki. Cut it up there into like 16 pieces. Sprinkled some fish powder and seaweed on top. Wow, it's so hot. Double whammy try. This is what it looks like. Beautiful. It's definitely more pancakey, and I think I like that a lot. So the biggest difference between the Osaka and Hiroshima style of okonomiyaki are the layers. Hiroshima style is layered, adding each layer separately, and usually includes a lot of cabbage and yakisoba. The Osaka style is all mixed together in a batter, becoming more of a solid pancake when finished. You can also add soba or udon noodles to the Osaka style as well, but it doesn't always come with it. To my surprise, it tastes quite a lot different than the one in Hiroshima. Yeah. You think okonomiyaki should be fairly uh, similar, but it is very different taste and like you said, it's more pancakey. Yeah, I think I prefer this style a little more. So you, you prefer this style? Mm -hmm. Right. I have to agree. Like first bite, I didn't want to immediately say it, but I think Osaka style Beats Hiroshima style. Yo, yo, before anyone comes at me, I definitely love the Hiroshima style as well. I'm just pancake bias, and looking back, this video can really be called Japanese street food pancakes four ways. <laughs> To be honest, uh, okonomiyaki was not on my favorite top list of Japanese food, and I never crave it. It's one of my favorites. But this I could eat all the time. This is the best <laughs> one I've had by far. I love it. And a very nice version. All right, we just came out of there. That was so good. Yeah. Very tasty, very satisfying. A little bit of plum sake in there, so I'm feeling great. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the best Japanese food experiences we've had so far. Overall, guys, I went shopping the other day. Is that Japanese? buckwheat noodle do you see it so man noodle this this is from thailand rice stick jiangxi i think this one's from china right kue jab i think it's from vietnam so by and so men are from japan you need to give us a recipe so suji can cook it because i cannot cook you need to tell us what we should buckwheat noodle it's like black and so man noodle and they look different. You need to tell us what we need to do with this. So she's just gonna cook and we're gonna make a video. Yes, I will try. Okay. Give me a good recipe and all the process. We also have some curry powder. Okay, thank you for watching everyone. Mata wa shimashou. Mata wa shimashou. Mata ne.